So right now the car weighs Welcome back to the channel guys as you can see by the title of the video we are headed out to a friend of mine mark who bought some scales and invited me out to weigh the car and get an accurate weight of the car not only are we going to get an accurate weight of the car but we're going to be able to see what the car weighs on each of the four wheels which you know will come in handy in the future when we start taking weight out and doing other things to the car now i have weighed the car on truck stop scales cat scales but it rounds i believe to the nearest 10 or 20 pounds up or down either way so i'm looking forward to see what the car 100 accurately weighs but last time we weighed the car on the scales it weighed 3700 pounds with a half a tank of fuel i've got right at three quarters of a tank of fuel so there can be a little weight there but like i said uh this is not going to be uh you know rounding up or down to the nearest i think it's 10 or 20 pounds either way but anyway guys that's what we're doing today so we'll see you there all right guys we are here with mark and and we got donnie over there he's hiding and this is your brother scott scott my nephew andrew my nephew your nephew andrew. Yeah, my nephew andrew your nephew not mine yours <laughs> so anyway we are here weighing the car we've actually got it up on the scales already and if you remember i talked about this car weighed 3700 pounds Last time I had it weighed with a half a tank of fuel on the cat scales and they round uh, However, they round up or down. But anyway, as you can see right now, I'm sitting on three quarters of a tank of fuel I've got everything pretty much out of the car That does not belong in the car from the factory and All my helmets and things like that. So right now the car weighs Without me in it weighs 3687 and as you can see there is the weight on the four corners. We got 1048, 1003, 798, and 840. Now Mark was telling me about the weight and he says from the factory it's pretty much Yeah, it's pretty centered. You know, if you can get within 50 pounds per corner then then you're doing really good. And this one's it's within 50 pounds left to right in the front and it's actually opposite on the rear, which is good to keep the car balanced. So from the factory, this thing set up really well. And if you go to front and rear percentages, it's a 55.6 on the nose, 44.4 on the rear. So that's it's optimal. 50, if you can get below 55 on the nose, and you're doing really good. And we'll look at the weights in a second when he gets in the car, and I'll explain that too. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to get in the car. Well, I'm going to get in the car because I'm the driver of the car 99% of the time. And he is going to take over filming and show you guys exactly what it weighs with me in there. Now, nobody laugh. I am a little heavy, but it is what it is. All right, so here you go. All right. You be real still. All right, with him in the car, you can see that it actually added weight to the rear of the car. Right here, it went to 54.9, which is optimal. You want it less than 55%. And it actually... It actually messed the cross weights up a little bit, but with an independent rear suspension car, it's not that big of a deal. But this setup right here is, is probably one of the better cars I've ever seen factory as far as, as being centered and weight distribution gonna be right. That's probably why they work so well. Okay, Ken, you're ready. I like my golf cart. You what? I like that. I like that golf cart. I need that. Sweet, Danny. Uh-huh. Y'all need y'all need to follow me around the racetracks, so I have <laughs> something to ride, drive around in. <laughs> That's the last. I'm not gonna take it. Yeah, I hear you. I got a race car. She's got a golf car. All right, guys. So as you see, how do I go back? How do I go back? Back to what? Oh, okay. show me the how to get back. And you said I'm the third car to ever been on these scales, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And it was zeroed out before. Like uh, if you see right there. That pulled up right there. They zeroed it out. I got on there. We didn't film that because I was in the car. They was ready for me when I come in. They're like a pit crew. They was all ready for me to get up on the scale. So the car weighs 30. There you go. 36.89, and that's with three quarters of a tank of fuel. So the truck scales are not 100%, and I trust these way more than I do truck scales. The truck scales are usually going to round up to about. Nearest 25 to 40 pounds. Is it know. that much? Yeah, it's, okay. it's quite a bit. You know, I, I was thinking 10 to 20, but... Yeah, it's, I, it's closer to, to 
25, 35, 40 pounds. Yeah. So I actually run the car on a half a tank of fuel. This car's got three quarter tanks, so I'm gonna be a little lighter than that when I run. And what was it with me on it? 39, 10? Yeah, something like that. It's, it's in the video, you guys see it. But anyway, I lose a little weight. Maybe we can make the car go a tad faster, but you know, it is what it is. <coughs> but guys, this video is not gonna be all about this car because then you guys would be bored because there's no action. So he just got done building this car. Well, it's a Dart SHP block 363. It has a just box stock Victor Junior heads. It's got a BBNT racing custom grind cam. Uh, Victor Junior intake, uh, 780 Pro Systems carburetor, uh, T56 manual swap, and I've done a ram clutch with it. It's got a Wiles drive shaft, uh, racing drive shaft, long tube headers, just basic bolt on stuff. You know, it's not anything exotic. It's, pretty run of the mill stuff. This car has actually been in videos, guys. I'll show, I'll throw a clip in right now of its old setup. And it was, it was pretty stout. What's the fastest it ever went in a, on that setup? 720, 727 at 93, I think. Okay. When I run Caleb. Okay. So, and then you ran Caleb and kind of gave him the gap. Several times. Yeah. <laughs> All night long. <laughs> but guys, we're going to take it right in this, so let's get to it. Thing's very smooth. It is. You guys, when I had the other Fox, this is primarily what I was wanting to do. Like a build like this in my Fox, a push rod, old school, you know, a lot of Coyote guys running around, Coyote cars running around in a Fox, you know, stuff like that. I prefer in a Fox, I honestly prefer push rod in a Fox. Well, I done this setup. I done the math, I was gonna do a Coyote swap, but I done this dark block setup, you know, probably cheaper than I could have done a Coyote swap. Yeah. Because I do stuff right, you know, if I wanted to do a Coyote swap, I want it to be perfect, so. And I just couldn't do it for what I've done this setup right here for. No, it's expensive to do one, but, you know, the right way, the way that you would want to do it. You know, nothing wrong with the Coyote and the Fox, no, but for me, for me, you my, know. My only issue was, what do you do after the 450 horsepower? Put a blower on it. Well, you know, other than, but that's 10 grand. Yeah, it is. So, you know, I'm looking at, I can spend 3,500 and gain 125 horsepower. Yeah. That's, that's easy. I can spend a, a thousand dollars and gain another seventy-five more money by porting the heads. So I mean, yeah. my, my, and you can see it's a street. I mean, it's oh, this is a one hundred percent street car. And right now, like this is this is not bad at all. It's not what you would think a, a Fox with a push rod and, and a car drag suspension and stuff like that, and a carburetor would would ride like. Pro Systems for the win. They build the best carburetor. Now you run with slicks on the track, right? 
so you'll be able to get on the track, and I, man, this thing's gonna be evil. It'll probably go. My goal is to go with high one thirties on the CT foot, which I think is doable. If it goes to high one thirty, it's probably gonna go about a six sixty to six seventy on the motor. The way I've got it figured, it, more than likely, the first, first time the track is probably gonna go a six eighty. But you know, that's that's not getting down on it real hard. But it's a it's a mid six second car by the time I get there. Oh yeah, all day long with perfect street manners. And I'm I'm very very impressed with the street manners of this car. I know. I mean, it's smooth. So anybody that says you can't drive a car better car, I promise you this car is smooth as any village car. I'll vouch for that. It is. If I drove if I rode in this car. I wouldn't know that it was car right. If you just talk, if I just jumped in and took down the that, road. That was my point because everybody keeps bashing me about putting carburetor on it. But if you've got a good carburetor, they're yeah. smooth. There's nothing wrong with the carburetor. And you can ask him right now, this car is smooth as silver. It is. It's it's right. Really we're running good. we're running about 65 or 70 right now and it's guys we just got back and this thing is evil it is evil but real quick uh he has these scales and they're actually offering a service to weigh people's cars right. if they're if they're in the vicinity in the area uh so you want to talk about that a little bit yeah what we're going to do is we're going to charge 40 dollars to to weigh it and i'll give you corner weights front to rear percentages and uh if there's any adjustment needed if you want me to adjust it i will adjust it for a little additional fee but uh, if we weigh it once and you make changes, you can bring it back one time and it'll be for free. And uh, we're actually gonna be bringing these to the track. Whenever we go Friday night test and tune, I'll have them set up beside my trailer and uh, we'll be offering the services there too. Maybe a little discount at the track, but uh, we'll, we'll see about that. But uh, Ken's gonna give you my link to my messenger to get in touch with me anytime during the week is fine. Just contact me to a couple of days before to set it up and we'll get taken care of. Yeah guys, we'll put that link right down in the description of his Facebook to get a hold of him and contact him. And like he said, uh, you'll be at Jackson Dragway on Friday nights and you'll be able to, they'll be able to weigh their car there also because right. you'll have this there also. Right, drive on, drive off, you know, it'll be real simple. You know, I'll, like I said, you can take a picture of the scales to get your corner weights or whatever, or just, just if you want to see what it weighs, you know, because it's yeah. the most accurate way to weigh a vehicle is by these scales. Yeah. All right, guys, so there you have it. If you want to get weighed, uh, hit the link down in the description. And if you're in the area, hit him up. This is Mark. And thanks for taking me ride down your car. No problem. Car and, uh, yeah, I can't talk, but uh, it is what it is. Worked all day. I'm tired. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not, and we will see you next time.